It was classic. Oh, yeah. Of course. Pikachu versus Sheik. And this is a matchup that ESAM has always insisted that Pikachu wins, even yeah. pre patch. Yeah. For a long time. He is one of the biggest advocates of character. No, tech. Oh, my gosh. The Ooh. zero to death. Wow. ESAM, here we go. Starting off strong. Giving us a little taunt for the stream, oh, yeah. too. Oh, Pikachu got a hit in. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. The the JV three yeah. is gone. It That's really is. Always the most important thing. So, what tools does Esam think that Pikachu has that lets him win the Sheik matchup? Well, you see, like, right now he's playing incredibly aggro. He's yeah. like in his face. Quick attack really kind of makes it harder for Sheik to Neo camp, especially with Nerf yeah. Beasts. Oh yes. Um, and he just has so many ways in. Pikachu's crouch has always been considered a very strong tool. Ooh, missed the bouncing fish there. Sadly, going to get punished for it. And that is going to kill. Uh, we have Esam taking it two stock fashion, only taking 34% damage. Right now, it's looking like Sunshine is looking a little dim there. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to reconsider yeah. the way she you and light. And that unfortunate back here. Okay, so we go from one of the best characters <laughs> to... Top five character in the game to a... To the best character in the game, right? Yeah. yeah Zelda. To the hero of time now okay. we are. The hero to grime. You know, re respect to those people they, that just make sure they play their favorite series. Oh, yeah. Like, they got to stick with the... Stick with the Legend of Zelda characters. I feel like... I think he's hyped for um, Legend of Zelda in 2017. And I, right now... I think he wants to get a Rage Smash attack. And there he dodges that back air that was so tumultuous last game. He's already doing better this match. He's put on 1%. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. He's oh, chill. So gross. Oh, my goodness. All right. He lands another hit. He is halfway to the, the mark he got last game. And he gets the full grab, but falling Ooh, out of that. This is the up smash. Shout out to Pikachu being so short. One of the things that makes... It really hard to fight Pikachu. It's just the height. A lot of things are going to go over Pikachu's head. Mm -hmm. Esam also one of the SDI champions of this game. Showing able us. to fall out of those multi-hit moves. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and he did a really good job showing us how to battle Bayonetta right before she got patched. And that's actually very relevant information because this patch is 1.15, but he gets the jab lock in the up smash. Oh, gosh. Shout out to the jab lock mix-ups there. We got an offstage one, and then we got one into an up smash. Esam's so good at setting up those jab lock situations here. Even on a stage that doesn't have as much platforms to set it up on. All right, getting the balloon for his trouble. Sunshine's got to find a way to land. Ooh, Woo! no. He's not going to make it back. Yeah, that's just it. Oh. Oh, it's so unfortunate. There's nothing more dangerous than when you're a character with a tether to try to tether the stage when the opponent is off the stage in front of you. That's not going to end well ever. Mm -hmm. Esam is one of the best at getting all those edge guard situations mm -hmm. in this game where, as is pretty well known, it has a much harder ledge to edge guard yeah. than, say, melee where you can, you know, ledge hog and mm -hmm. someone just falls to their oh, death. Oh, yeah. Definitely, um, definitely one big thing that really changed. You really got to want it in Smash 4 mm -hmm. if you want to edge guard. Esam really wants it. Every the, time. And Pikachu is one of the best characters to do that with. Uh, mm -hmm. As we saw with the back air, uh, fair, nair. Just feel like everything Pikachu can do off stage. He has so many good tools off stage, especially against 